morning guys so this is the start of a new reading vlog it is monday and i just finished filmed the outro clip for the last week's reading vlog and i just wanted to go ahead and get this vlog started now so that i didn't forget like i usually do and give you guys an update on what i'm currently reading so i am currently in just started i think i'm on chapter two of nine days and nine nights by katie Catino. i just reread 99 days last week so i am all caught up and ready to read this one i'm hoping i can get through this book completely today because tomorrow two books that i'm really excited to read comes out and so I'm wanting to start those as soon as I get here. And so I'm hoping I can get this done today, which is, shouldn't be too hard. It's a fairly short book. So I'm hoping I can get through this book uh, today, like I said, and move on to something different tomorrow. Um, as for my TBR, I have three books left on my TBR for the month, which is crazy. I never, ever thought that I would get through that many. I was convinced that this was like setting the bar high. For my tbr and i've flown through it so maybe tbr i used to say I, tbrs weren't for me but maybe i'm wrong maybe tbrs are in fact for me so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get some editing done and then uh get some reading done after that so i will check back in with you guys later on hey guys so it is now about 2 30 on monday and i just finished reading nine days and nine nights um, I ended up giving this book 2.5 out of 5 stars. I just didn't love it. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't really care for it as much as I'd hoped I would. Um, but it was, you know, kind of cute at times. But mostly it was just aggravating, I guess you could say. But yeah, 2.5 out of 5 stars. Didn't super love this one, but that's okay. Um, so now... I'm going to move on to another story. It sounds like my daughter might be awake for me now, which means I need to go get her. But I think next I'm going to start reading Obsidio, uh, which is actually the last book that I have on my TBR that I currently have with me. Um, I also have From Twinkle With Love, which comes out tomorrow. So I don't even have access to that right now. But so this is the last book on my TBR that I currently have in my possession uh, everything else from my tbr will be here tomorrow so i'm going to start this uh once i check on my daughter and i will check back with you guys later on today <laughs> It is now Tuesday morning and I just now finished reading Obsidio. Anyway, it is now Tuesday morning and I just now finished reading Obsidio. And it was so good because I, I ended up giving this five out of five stars. I just loved it so much. Um, but I stayed up so late last night trying to finish this book and I didn't even get it finished last night. I stayed up till almost two in the morning reading this and I started to like drift off and like fall asleep while the audiobook was playing and I was just like okay I can't do this right now we're in the middle of this huge thing this huge moment I have to stay awake or I have to just turn it off and go to sleep and read it in the morning and so I decided I was just gonna read finish it in the morning because I just I had I had to pay attention to this in order to like get the full effect and it was so good you guys it was such a good ending to this little trilogy and I just I loved it so I finished this and that means that there is literally one book left on my TBR for the month and we still have over like a week and a half left of the month and so 
I guess this is an, I have uh, from Twinkle with Love, which comes out today, and I have the audiobook of it already, so I might start listening to it uh, today. But I also might wait until my physical copy comes in. So we'll see what I decide to do. But I'm, I'm definitely going to start that at some point today. In the meantime, though, I might take a break and maybe get caught up on some booktube videos that I've fallen behind on. So I might watch some booktube videos until, uh, you know, either from Twinkle with Love gets here or until... Uh, I just can't hack it anymore and I want to start another book. So yeah, that is my plan for today. So far, uh, we're going over to my parents' house again tonight. We go over, we, we go to their house Tuesday and Wednesday every week. Um, it's just routine. And so uh, we're going to do that again today. We're going over there tonight. So uh, that's really the only thing we have planned for today. That's all we got. So yeah. I am going to go check on my kids because they're just hanging out playing in the other room and I'm I'm gonna probably watch some booktube and then we'll see if I feel like picking up another book but finish this so good second book I finished this week and it's only Tuesday I think I've lost my mind so there's that also can we just talk about here for a second that this is my TBR stack um everything but one book and I have read all of these and this stack is now at a point that when I'm sitting in my chair you can barely see me over the top of the books there are so many and this isn't even all of them because there's one uh that I read that isn't in the stack like oh my goodness should be walking in the door any second oh, I see him oh hello tiny human did you have a good day? What did you do nice for somebody? Hey guys, so it is later on. I haven't started anything because I've been watching YouTube. Like I said, I was probably going to, but I finally got my package in the mail. I already took the pull tab off because those things are a nightmare for me and I never do them right. And lo and behold, I didn't do it right again. So I went ahead and took it off. I covered my address, but uh, I, I wanted to go ahead and open this for you, with you guys so you guys could see the books when I do. So I got two books and let's show you it's so pretty. All right, so the first one is from Twinkle with Love by Sin, Sin, San, Sandia Manana. I don't, I'm sorry, but this book is beautiful. I, this was the book I told you I was getting because I'm planning to read it. I also have the audiobook uh, so I can read along with it. But it's Oh, pretty whoa look at how bright pink that is <laughs> it's so pretty oh my goodness so yeah that was the first book I got which I'm really excited to read this one and then I also got always never yours by Emily Wiverly and Austin Sigmund Broca I believe I don't know. I've heard good things about this book. I saw the art for this on NetGalley and I just thought this looked like something that was so good. And so I decided to go ahead and pre-order it for myself and read it. And so I am really excited to read this one as well. So these are the two books that I'm going to hopefully be reading this week and hopefully maybe finishing this week. Definitely hopefully gonna probably gonna finish from Twinkle with Love because I'm gonna listen to the audiobook of this and then also be reading this. So yeah, those are the books I got and they're so pretty. Like they complement each other so well too. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and probably start reading this. Um, and I will check back in with you guys later on. Hey guys, so it is now Wednesday and I am just hanging out uh, in the living room with the kids while they're playing and having some fun. And I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my reading yesterday as well as what I've done so far. So, so far, yesterday and today, all I have read, done is read from Twinkle with Love. I am literally almost done with this book. I am uh, on page 258. I am so close to done with this book. And I'm really enjoying it. It's very cute. Um, so, I am almost done. Last night I got about 146 pages into this, so about close to halfway, and I'm almost done. So I'm going to finish this today, and then, when I'm, and then when I'm done with this, I'm going to start reading 
always never yours. Um, and then I'm going to read this and hopefully finish it uh, this week. And next week I have another book that I wanted to read that comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and finish reading this. My son's about to go down for a nap here in a minute. And so when he goes down for a nap, I'm going to finish reading this. And then I will uh, check back in with you guys with my thoughts on this book when I'm done with it. So I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so it is later on and I have officially finished reading from Twinkle with Love. I really enjoyed this book. I ended up giving it 4 out of 5 stars. But if you do not know what this book is about, it's about our main character Twinkle who um, is wants to be a film director. She wants to make movies. She finally is given the opportunity to direct a film for a local film festival. And so she ends up partnering up with this guy. I can't remember his name. Sahil? I don't think I'm saying that wrong. I think for sure I'm saying that wrong. But she ends up partnering up with Sahil who is the twin brother of her crush. And together they start making this movie. During the filming of this movie, they start to develop feelings for each other. But at the same time, Twinkle is getting secret admirer emails from someone who she believes to be her Sahil's twin brother, Neil, who she really likes. So needless to say, that causes some trouble and yeah. This book was really good. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars just because uh, the format was not one that I super loved just because it's hard to follow the story for me sometimes with it. I don't feel like the story you know, can be told to its fullest. And the way the story is told is through diary entries. Um, basically, we have a bunch of diary entries. I'll show you the first one because then there's not really spoilers on it. But uh, can see that it's told from diary entries so like we have you know the date where she is and then you know the basics here um and so it's told in diary format and I sometimes struggle with things being told in a diary format because I feel like you're missing out on some of the more uh details of the story but I definitely still enjoyed it but the, the format is the only reason I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars instead of a full 5. That as well as the fact that Twinkle is kind of ditzy, I guess you could say. Like she's a very strong, independent person, but she is naive as can be. Like, oh my goodness, she is so naive. And she's supposed to be like 17, I think. So why is she this naive? Um, there are things that happen in this book that are very obvious. Like like painstakingly obvious and she just doesn't get it like it doesn't register to her they're like oh this is the thing and it, it just drove me nuts where like there are multiple multiple times in this book where I was just like shaking in the book because I'm just like seriously how do you not get this how do you not see it and so yeah that was uh, kind of frustrating and also why I, I docked it down to four stars instead of five stars. But I still really enjoyed the story. The story was very good, very cute. And it went by so quickly. Like I flew through this book in like a day. I think it, I finished it in 24 hours. So I definitely enjoyed this one. So now that I have finished From Twinkle With Love, I think I'm going to go ahead and start reading. Never Always Yours, this is just the dust jacket. The physical book is in the other room. So I think I'm going to start reading this now and I will check back in with you guys uh, probably tomorrow because uh, we're going to a restaurant last night and I don't feel like taking my camera along with me to vlog. So I'll probably just check back in with you guys tomorrow morning. So I will see you guys then. I wanted to go ahead and film this little cut because I got some more bookish mail from today. And so I want to go ahead and open this for you guys because I'm really excited about it. Um, so I got this book because, well, I mean, you'll see it. But I got it specifically when I did because it was on sale on Amazon for the entire thing with tax and everything was $4.02. And 
that's cheaper than what the Kindle edition of this book is, and that rarely happens. So I decided to go ahead and get it. And so I got The Anatomical Shape of a Heart by Jen Bennett. This is the same author who wrote Alex Approximately and Starry Eyes, which I also just read this month. And so I I wanted to read this. I think this was her first YA novel that she published. So I've been really excited to read this one as well. And now I have it. It's a, the paperback, like I said, the paperback copy was like $4. So I went ahead and got it. And if that like is still a thing when this video is up, I'll link it down below for you um, because I'm really excited about this. So this was my bookish mail that I got. So now that I have uh, done a little bit of an unboxing for you guys, I want to go ahead and give you guys a quick update about how many reading has gone today. Um, I have been spending today uh, doing no reading at all. <laughs> um, I haven't read absolutely anything whatsoever today and that's okay. I'm going to probably read in a, when my kids go down for naps today. Um, and that's I'm probably tonight before bed, but I'm not really focusing on reading that much this morning because I've read so much the last two days. So yeah, I haven't read anything yet today, but I will eventually. Uh, so yeah, that's the only update I have for you guys today. Uh, I will check back in with you guys uh, later on after I do some reading. So I'll see you guys later. Basically the last two days, um, Friday was mine and my husband's five year anniversary so uh, I didn't really do all that much reading that morning. I think I read like 40 pages of Always Never Yours and then after that, that afternoon or that evening I guess, my husband and I went out on a date for our five year anniversary which I think I had a couple of clips of and then yesterday, um, we spent most of the day at my parents' house uh, cleaning and getting some shopping done and basically just getting ready for Memorial Day, which is tomorrow, because my grandparents come up to visit tomorrow, uh, or come down, I guess, they live north of us, uh, to stay for the week today and tomorrow to spend Memorial Day with us because we don't get to see them uh, very often. So they're gonna be here before long uh, today. And so yesterday we spent all day cleaning and getting ready for them to come down and I read the entirety of uh, Dirty by Kylie Scott. Um, I ended up giving that like three stars. I really liked it. It was really a cute like story and I really enjoyed it. So that was what I read the last two days yesterday I guess because I didn't read really hardly anything on Friday and then today I'm going to um, start reading the wedding date I don't know who that's by but I'll I'll look it up and tell you at some point today I'm sure but yeah I'm gonna start reading the re wedding date next so that is um, everything I have for this update so I will check back in with you guys uh, later on today nothing else for our wrap up so I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so it is the end of the week, which means that I just wanted to give you guys a quick wrap up of everything I read this week. And then that'll be the end of this video. So as for what I read this week, I read four books in their entirety this week, which is kind of insane. That's the second week in a row I've done that and it's, that kind of boggles my mind. But yeah, I read four books this week. I read Nine Days and Nine Nights by Katie Cotigno, which I gave 2.5 out of 5 stars. Obsidio by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, which I gave 5 out of 5 stars. I then read From Twinkle With Love, which I gave four out of five stars, and then I read Dirty by Kylie Scott, which I gave 
3.5, 4 out of stars, 4 out of 5 stars. I don't know which yet. I still haven't fully decided on that one. But yeah, those are uh, the books that I read this week. I really had a great reading week, even for not reading like three of the days or two of the days this week at all. Um, so yeah, that is all that I have for this reading vlog for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great reading week as well. I'd love to know what you guys read this week. Yeah, that's all I have for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I post videos on Monday and Friday if you're interested. And reading vlogs are always on Monday. And so if you're interested in more of my content, feel free to come and check me out then. Or you can subscribe and I'll pop up in your subscription feed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.